What's up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rise. We're back here at Moss Nissan in Newport Ritchie, Florida. And guess what? I have that one sedan that Nissan calls a four-door sports car for you. And this is it. This is a 2023 Nissan Maxima. This one is the top platinum trim. But before we get into, like I said, what Nissan calls a four-door sports car, let's talk about what's going on here. The Maxima. It's been in Nissan's lineup since the 1980s. Really was a unique vehicle because it took a lot of what the Z brought to Nissan's lineup, but in a four-door setup. Now, many different generations have gone by. I know a lot of you have been wanting some type of redesign, but the bad news is the Maxima is being killed off at the end of this model year, the 2023 model year. A lot of people think that this vehicle is a mid-size sedan. It is not. It is actually a full-size sedan. The Ultima is a mid-size sedan. So this vehicle goes up against some pretty tough competition from the likes of Genesis with the G70 and Kia with the Stinger GT. But what I want to find out is, is it now or never? And is this the better vehicle over the G70 and the Stinger GT? that you should be buying. Let's go ahead, let's dive into this Nissan Platinum trim and find out. Right off the bat, the style. It's interesting because when this generation came out a few years ago, it really showed the direction that Nissan was going in at the time with the style. Now at the front of the business, you are gonna get full LED headlights, LED daytime running lamps, and turn signals. I really have always liked how angular the headlight housing is and how the headlight interlocks nicely with the front fender, kind of wraps around the side there. Working your way down, you do have a large gloss black vent area. The bad news is, is I'm gonna have to give this a half a zonk because this top portion and the bottom portion is not functional. But as you can see, we do have full LED fog lamps. That's why it's just getting hot, half a zonk. Would have been nice to have those be actual air curtains. Now, as we come across the front, you see that clear design that v motion grill you got a large area of gloss black on the maxima if this is a four-door sports car it would be nice for this to be black chrome instead of the shiny chrome finish but what's interesting is that this will be the only model year that has the new nissan badge so if you get a 2022 or older that's the older nissan badge so who knows maybe 40 years from now going across the mecham auto auction stage or barrett jackson you'll see one of these and it'll be so rare that it'll go for millions of dollars or possibly not. We'll find out. Lower section, full functionality. And you'll notice how we not only have the chrome trim up top, but also the chrome bright, shiny metalwork on the bottom as well with a little bit of a chin lip. I wish this came out just a little bit more to actually be a functional splitter, but just a little bit of gloss black on that bottom portion. Now, when you get up onto the hood, you can see how the front fascia very cleanly locks in with that hood design. Everything just kind of rises up and it goes right towards the A pillars. What's interesting is that if you want a little bit of a bulge, you do get a bulge in the center, a little bit of a bulge in the center. It's almost like a V bulge. It rises up and then it goes into a V towards the windshield. Your G70 doesn't have a bulge and your Stinger GT doesn't have a bulge. So you get the bulge on the Maxima. Coming around the bend, what are we working with wheel and tire setup? So you're gonna get a very traditional Nissan spec wheel. And what I mean by that is you get this V-spoke pattern, lots of machined aluminum, some metallic uh, gray on each of the spokes. I wish it had a little bit sportier feel to it, to the overall design of the wheel. But if you're wondering, well, Joe, what is the actual size of this wheel? You're basically looking at all around 19 inches. So you have 19 inch up front, 19 inch out back. They're not staggered or anything like that. 245 on the width, and then you have a 40 series sidewall. The suspension from what Nissan says has been fine tuned for that sportier driving. Hence, one of the reasons why they call it a four door sports car. And then one thing that I do like is how clean that the hood interlocks with the fender. If you look at some of their other cars at Nissan, it's not so clean like that. Now coming down the side, you do have gloss black on the mirror caps, 360 degree cameras, and some very interesting styling. Look at how the 
body line of the fender kind of drops into the door panel and then goes all the way towards the rear. We do have shiny chrome finish on the door handles on the lower portion of the trim. And this was the first vehicle, their very first vehicle to have the floating roof design. Blacked out eight pillars. And then you got that separator on the rear pillar as well to give it that floating roof design. Our platinum trim has a full panoramic sunroof. And what I like about that is that they actually black out the whole roof. Even though this isn't glass, this is the glass, this is not the glass. Everything is blacked out, even at the front as well. You got a blacked out shark fin antenna and then very sculpted, even on the lower portion of the doors into that sill area. Now this vehicle is front wheel drive. It's never been rear wheel drive. Coming around the back, you can see how the chrome finish and that floating roof design comes into the trunk area. You're gonna get full LED lighting on your taillights and turn signals. That Maxima name, so much history, kind of sad to see it disappear. We got the new Nissan badge, big Bulger Chrome. And then one thing that I like the way they finish it off is you are gonna get this. And the one thing that kind of stinks is that this is functional, this is not. So we're gonna have to zonk that, but this part is functional, not the outward one. Get rid of this, why? Why oh why? And then you'll notice how they give you an actual simulated chrome rear diffuser you do have a functional exhaust on this side as well but that one is blocked off i wish they would have just kept it too just make it a little bit larger but why don't we go ahead let's pop the hood and talk horsepower for this last year of the max right, guys time to get underneath the hood you do have hood struts to hold the hood open and one thing you're not going to find on your stinger gt or your genesis g70 is a naturally aspirated v6 talk about a dying breed this has a 3.5 liter naturally aspirated V6 putting out 300 horsepower, 261 pound-feet of torque. I think the biggest issue and why these did not sell at a more popular rate is the CVT. You are made into a CVT transmission. It is front wheel drive. And if you're wondering, well, what are we talking about? Performance, zero to 60 in about 5.6 seconds top speed is going to be limited it's governed to 133 miles per hour the vehicle weighs 3665 pounds mpgs 20 in the city 30 on the highway so very very sad to see a popular nameplate like the maxima disappear into the abyss wouldn't it have been crazy to take the new z motor the three liter twin turbo v6 make this rear wheel drive manual transmission or the nine speed automatic talk about a win 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 and a new redesigned shape i think would have went a long way but you know what this could be the very last time i ever say this if you're ready i'm ready let's fire up this nissan maxima and hear what it sounds like guys we're inside nissan's four-door sports car at least according to them i know you're saying to yourself well joe my granddad had a nissan maxima back in 1988 my dad had a nissan maxima in college my mom had me in the back of a nissan maxima as my dad was driving her to the hospital i kind of want a maxima it's been part of my life how much is this one so platinum trim, the way that this one is optioned, has an MSRP of $46,000. Let's see what you get for the money to the door panels. I do like what they've done. Soft touch material, the stitching is on point, and then I'm also digging that gray trim underneath the door handle. Something different than faux carbon fiber. You got the Bose sound system, and what I like is around the switch gear for the windows and the door locks, no gloss black. Door pocket's gonna be on the tight side, so you're gonna have to just keep it to a McDonald's cheeseburger, just one and a small fry, and then of course a Pepsi to wash it down. Going from the door panel to the dash, same thing. Soft material, I'm digging the gray finish. The stitching really kinda 
brings the dash alive that it would be kind of boring without it, but I'm glad that they did it. And then what are you gonna get infotainment system wise? Eight inch infotainment system, you do have a CD player. For, so get your two live crew out, get your Pearl Jam, get your Nirvana, you could rock out like it was 1990 all over again. Eight inch system, full navigation, throw it in the reverse, there's your backup camera. It's almost like you're blindfolded and you're trying to drive in reverse. So not the clearest of resolution, but you do have 360 cam and it does take up all eight inches. I can't argue with that. You could also hit the camera button and look out the front because we do have a forward facing camera and you do have trajectory. We do also have dual climate control. Gloss black is a little heavy. I do like where they placed the start stop button. Easy to get to and I'm liking this aluminum trim. I don't know why they didn't use more of this. The gloss black is a little too heavy. Open it up. You do have a USB-C, USB-A and an aux jack. No wireless charging so that's a zonk but you do have this compartment with felt lining. You could put the family jewels in there and they won't get all scratched up. No guy wants his family jewels all scratched up. So you do have the family, the uh, felt lining. Close it up, two cup holders. You probably got the same key fob that your grandfather had on his 1988 Maxima. No, they didn't have key fobs back then. They just had keys and key chains. But there's the key fob, still the same thing with the new Nissan badge. We do have heated and ventilated seats. You just turn the knob just like that. You do also have a direct drive control knob, sort of like a BMW, where if you don't want to use the touchscreen, we have sport mode and we can shut the traction control off. I do like the stitching here on the end and the nice soft touch. Same thing up here. This is Charmin approved. Open it up, more felt lining, a 12 volt, and then you do have enough room in here where you could easily put, I would say two Game Boys. And you know what? If you have the original boxes, Tetris and the Chargers, they're going for a pretty good penny. So just something to be aware of. Seats, I love the leather. I love the way they did the stitching. Really makes it feel upscale, especially with the contrast uh, stitching on the bolstering. Full electric assist for the passenger and the driver. And then you have this nice one touch panoramic split roof design. There goes the sunroof, open it up. You can be like a roller coaster. Ah! Just don't do that while you're driving or you're probably going off the side of a mountain. Good news is here in Florida, the tallest things we have are speed bumps. So you'll be semi okay in Florida. But why don't you come over here? I got probably one of the most unique steering wheels that Nissan sells coming over. I want to show you behind it. All right, guys, business time behind the wheel. You do have two memory seat settings. I do like the aluminum sill plate with the maximum, maximum name that lights up LED. You also do have your seat controls with that lower lumbar. Feels really good. I'm six feet tall. I got plenty of room in here. And that's what I'm telling you, this is a full size. I know everybody and their mother wants to put in the comment section, this is a midsize. It's not a midsize sedan. It's a full size sedan. Steering wheel, love the leather. Two piece leather, flat bottom. Looks different than any other steering wheel that they have in their lineup. Flat black on the buttons, the new Nissan badge. You do have electric tilting and telescoping steering wheel. No paddles, but check this out heated steering wheel and if you're wondering what is this for you actually have an electric security shade for the back window that really gives it a nice upscale touch if you go into your infotainment system on your dash you can see that you have a plethora of different information in that seven inch digital display that you could show Sport just lights up you're either on or you're off you can see the little boom there you go your car actually glows orange at night just so you know when you go into sport mode. And then you have your analog gauges, no head up display, which is a little bit of a bummer. But why don't we go ahead, let's get in the back seat and see if your passengers are gonna love this four door sports car. All right guys, back seat time. And this is where you're definitely gonna maximize your space. It pretty much has as much room as a Kia Stinger GT. G70 does not have much room. So this definitely beats the Genesis G70 when it comes to rear seat room. Backs of the seats, you got the soft material. Nice large pockets. You could put a clear water calzone back here. And if you're wondering what the hell is a clear water calzone, I live in Clearwater, Florida. We love grouper. Grouper is like the main dish that if you come to Clearwater, you wanna get, you wanna get a grouper sandwich. But instead of the sandwich, get the grouper calzone. It's filled with tartar sauce and grouper. It's really good, highly recommend. Back 
of the center console area. We do have AC vents, which are nice. Two stages of heated seats, USB-C, USB-A. I got my own pocket for my own grouper calzone. I don't have to share with you. And as you can see, not too shabby on the room. Flip this bad boy down. Ugh. That one is soft, this one is semi-soft. So not the softest armrest, but you do have two cup holders and you have a place for a couple of those, uh, gr those gas station uh, Slim Jims. So after you're done eating your grouper calzone, if your breath doesn't smell yet, eat a couple Slim Jims and nobody will wanna put their lips anywhere near yours. But let's go ahead, let's get into that trunk area and see how much room we have in this four-door sports car. All right guys, time to get in the trunk, hit the button, Lift it up. What you're going to be greeted to is almost 16 cubic feet of space. I love how low the cargo floor is. The rear seat will fold down, which is wonderful as well. And we have the optional performance-oriented cargo net. No longer will your melons roll around the back of the trunk when you go to the grocery store. But you know what? I'm not going to the grocery store. Where I want to go is on throttle. So if you're ready, I'm ready. Let's take this Maxima for a little spin. All right, guys, we left Moss Nissan. We're in this 2023 Nissan Maxima. Nissan calls it a four-door sports car. We're gonna find out if that's uh, semi-accurate at all. But if you're ready, I'm ready. From a dead stop in sport mode, on throttle, here we go. You can see the traction control doing its thing. On the brakes. You do have simulated gears to keep the revs down, which is nice. There we go. <laughs> I just wish there was a little bit more connected feel. With the CVT, I feel disconnected. I don't feel like the engine is in its optimum power band. And then with the steering, there's just some kind of weird thing going on where I don't really know how much grip I have from the front end of the vehicle. Now remember, this is front wheel drive, so you are asking a lot, but it would be nice to have a little bit more feedback coming to the wheel. But the good news is nice linear power delivery from the V6. Held the line really nice there. Back on throttle, traction control doing its thing. Now overall, I do like where everything is placed. A little bit, like I said, gloss black heavy, but you could feel the age of this vehicle, especially compared to the Stinger GT, especially compared to the Genesis G70. It's like a big question of what might have been if this they would have went to a real wheel drive platform, brought over a different transmission. I think this would have been really uh, a stellar standout if any of those things would have happened. But the great news is the seats are comfortable, very supportive. I like the way they're ventilated and heated. And uh, the suspension is not gonna beat you up, which is great. Guys, this time I'm gonna use the manual shift option. What's weird is there's no paddles. You gotta use the shifter. You do have a gear indicator. On throttle, here we go. Tap the shifter forward to go into the next simulated gear. On the brakes. Downshift. There we go. Now, now it's a little bit more fun to drive. Still does not feel 100% connected. And that to me is really the bummer because this really could have been that four-door sports car that I think Nissan really wanted to have in the end. But I tell you, it does hold the line really, really well. It just does not feel as nimble as the competition. Back on the brakes, downshift, downshift. But overall, I mean, like I said, if you're looking for something that is unique, having a front wheel drive V6 power car, 
a sedan. You just don't see that very much anymore. And then I do love some of the touches in here. It's like some of the things that they updated, like the seats and the stitching, really stands out nicely. And it's really quiet in here. Like when you're just driving and you're not turning up the wick, it's just nice and smooth and comfortable. You can see that small bulge on the hood. And then you got plenty of room for everybody. And if the road gets a little twisty for you, uh, then you could take advantage of that. But really there's no substitute for the rear wheel drive platform of the G70 or the Stinger GT. But hopefully this has been a nice overall review of what the Maxima is bringing in its last model year. We're gonna get back to Moss Nissan and wrap this one up. So I'll see you in a split second. All right guys, it's been a fun filled day here at Moss Nissan. Definitely wanna thank the whole Moss family and Christian of course, getting us access to this 2023 last of its kind Nissan Maxima. Let me know what you think. Is this Nissan Maxima the one you should be grabbing onto? Or are you gonna go G70 or Kia Stinger GT? Let me know in that comment section. But if you're new to the channel and you're on your way out, hit that subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile. Come back for more. If you are a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Radies Rides family. We need to give it up. Stephen Flood, Stephen Flood Photography, working the camera like a champ. Show him some love in the comment section. Thank you, Stephen, for all that you do. And just like always, guys, I'll see you on the next ride.